first, it's the size of a subatomic particle. The tiniest fraction of a second later, it's big enough to hold in the palm of your hand. Moments later, it's the size of the Earth. Today, the light from the Big Bang is still spreading out as a hiss of radio static. Your TV aerial picks it up. You can see it as static on an untuned TV. We go on forwards through time, riding the blast wave. All the things we've seen on our journey are sparks flying out from the Big Bang. Galaxies, stars, planets, all just debris. Back through our galaxy. solar system until we reach another cooling cinder swirling in the afterglow of the Big Bang the Earth we had to go back to the past to see our future Three billion years from now, the vast Andromeda galaxy smashes into our own. A new galaxy is born. The sun and planets survive, but they've been thrown into a huge looping orbit around the new galaxy. The sun is becoming a red giant, swallowing up Mercury and Venus, scorching our planet's surface, destroying all life on Earth. The sun dies, shrinking to a white dwarf. Neighboring stars are dying too, being replaced by white dwarfs, pulsars, black holes. The lights are going down on the galaxy. Since the Big Bang, the universe has been fading, dying, not with a bang, but with a long, drawn-out whimper. But there could be a way out, an escape route from our dying universe. It might be possible for our distant descendants to find a shortcut through space and time. A wormhole. If there are other universes, it could take our descendants from our doomed universe into a parallel one, where they could find another Earth, still in the prime of life. If they're lucky enough, they will live on in a new universe a new home.